Hi everyone. So we're going to start this out a little bit different. Happy Friday by the way. Eric is going to come on in a few minutes and um, do a huge big old uh, sign carvers of the day um, presentation. But I wanted to go over a couple of things first. Um, something on the administration side. Um, I want to talk to the premium members a little bit. First of all, um, let's see, I'll do this one. I'll do it. It's a two-parter. So, first of all, I've had a couple of emails lately and a couple of phone calls too, actually, um, asking about the premium member template. It used to be, when we first started with the premium member template, um, we tried sending them out every month to all the premium members. You just got a template. But because we have so many premium members and the way that Eric packages them, it was going to cost us, gosh, what was it, like five bucks a piece five dollars a piece to ship them and when you multiply that by the couple of hundred premium members that we have that got a little pricey so the way we work it is when you order we send out your premium member templates if you became a premium member in July or June or July and you don't order until August or September you get all of those templates you get June July August September so you get all of the templates if you've been a premium member for a year um, and you don't order for a year you will still get the premium members templates that's 12 templates or however many you're behind we catch it up on the next order so I wanted to go over that also router bits premium members get uh, free router bit sharpening um, it's just seven dollars to uh, ship them back and I've had a lot of people call me and say I'm gonna send in templates that's great um, send in router bits. Send, I'm sorry send in router bits to be sharpened and um, I always remind them please put a note or something in your um, box when you send your router bits back. This is how I would like for you not to send them back. So I got this package, this box, it's just a priority mail box, duct tape, and um, an address, no name. I have no name on the address. And inside the box, this is exactly how I received it. This is what I have. And this is great, we'll sharpen these, no problem. Um, but I don't know who to send them back to. I have absolutely no idea who sent me these templates because there's not even a name on the address, a return address um, box. No note, um, no anything. So if this was you that sent this back to me, again, it's just a priority box with some camo duct tape on it. Could you please contact me so that we can get these back to you? Um, and also, we do not charge the premium members to sharpen the router bits, but we do charge $7 to ship them back to you. Um, so when you send this in, you can take an envelope, put the $7 cash in it, put it in there. We would prefer that we you don't write a check because then we have to wait for the check to clear and we have to do all that kind of stuff um, on them. If you're not a premium member and you send your router bits back, that's great too. If you're not a premium member, the cost of sharpening the router bits is $7 per router bit and then $7 to ship them back. Um, okay, so I'll leave that alone. So if you send me this box, please contact me um, and so that I can get that back to you. One more real quick thing, we're in the process of working on the website for the checkout. So uh, I have a lot of people that will place an order on makeawoodsign.com and in the comments below or the, the note to seller, uh, you'll leave your uh, premium member discount code. Then I have to go back into our account, reimburse you um, the difference in the, uh, for the discount, for the discount and it costs us every time I have to reimburse and sometimes if I have to reimburse you know I've had to reimburse 20, 15, 20, 30 dollars or whatever um, we pay a percentage of that also if I have to reimburse you 89 cents it costs us about 15 cents to reimburse that back to you so 
We are working on making the checkout easier. So right now I believe the way it is, is you click on um, checkout and then it goes to a screen and it says PayPal on it. And a lot of people freak out because they don't have a PayPal account. PayPal is just our processor. If you continue through, I granted it's, I think it's like three steps to get to it, but you can pay with any credit card. You just, you don't have to have a PayPal account. They are just our processor. That's why it says PayPal on there. So you can still call me and we'll do the order over the phone. No problem, but don't panic. Um, just continue going through and you will get to where it says um, pick your, pay, your credit card or enter your credit card information. So. Okay, so just to reiterate, what you're talking about, the discount code, is when premium members order, if they can remember that discount code, enter that into their order. Correct. When so you don't have to refund it. All the premium members, with the first of the month, at least most of them, you're supposed to get a code. I've missed a few. You will get an email from me that gives you your discount code. So when you check out, you go through the process, check out, and then there will have a box for you to put your discount code in. It will automatically give you your discount before uh, you pay for it. So that's an automatic thing. Um, but if you just put it on your order when you go make a wood sign and then you leave a little note but you don't place you don't put it in there, it won't give it to you. Then I have to go back and I have to give it to you, which I can do, but it costs us each time I do that. Um, one more thing I wanted to say and I forgot what it was. I messed you up, I'm sorry. You did change my train of thought. Um, it was about the discount code. I can't remember what it was. Oh, I know what it was. Um, when you get your discount code, it's kind of funny, but um, you can use that discount code all month on every order that you place for the month. It's not just a one-time use. So if you place an order on the 1st and you place an order on the 15th and you place an order on the 30th, you can use that discount code on all of your orders. So I just wanted to let you know that also. That's important because I have a lot of people that don't use their discount code because I, I don't know, I guess you think that um, you only can use it once. No, you can use it for the whole month. So. That was that. Um, thanks for listening to me. And I'm going to go away now. And Eric will come in with the sign carpers of the day. So thanks for listening to me. You guys will be right back. All right, guys, it's my turn. So great job, babe, on uh, letting everybody know what's going on as far as the website and stuff. If you have questions, Vicki's email will be right down below in the description. Um, I, I just want to acknowledge, thanks for all the great comments on our uh, Wednesday video, me kind of uh, ranting and raving uh, about business stuff. Uh, one thing I didn't mention that I really should have from a niche standpoint is the collaboration. And I'm going to do another video maybe next week all about collaboration, some ideas on collaborations uh, and do some more marketing stuff. Because I love that stuff. Anyway, all right, let's get into the sign carvers of the day. We got a whole stack of them here. Joel Frangos. So where do you want me home? Right babe? there. About there. Mhm. Mm Good job. I like that. Yeah. Really nice. Boy, uh, Floyd. Nice old Chevy pickup on there. Floyd Villarreal. Okay. If you say so. I want to get the pickup. There it is. Very cool. I like that. Yeah. Really nice. Okay. Very nice with the palm trees on there. Very cool. Mike Bradley. This is made out of 2x4s um, and 2x6s. Laminated cedar. Mike's doing some really beautiful stuff. Great job, Mike. This one's a little bit different. I don't know that it's even uh, carved. It almost looks like it's scroll sawed. And it's a you know cell phone holder. But I thought it was kind of, kind of cool. Flies getting you. Yeah. And that's uh, Adam Dennis. Good job, Adam. Beautiful. Chuck Young. This is actually cut off of a fallen redwood tree. Really nice graphics on there. The deer and the pine trees in the back. Really cool. This one's really neat. I like this one. 
This is 8 by 12 and it's actually just a leftover piece of panel board that he had from another sign he made. De Veers? De I'm not De sure if the L's are silent or not. Okay. Beautiful job, Randy. Michael McDowell. Very cool. That's cool. Tractor on there. Very nice. South Brazil. Very first sign. Marcelo, Marcelo Silveira. Marcelo Silveira. Very first very sign. Cool. Very nice. Nicely done in Brazil. Uh, Bo Trower down in Texas. He likes the uh, the Houston Texans, if you can't tell. I've seen many signs that he's done with the Texans logo on it. Doing some great stuff. Good job, Bo. John Bonk. Oops. I'm kind of folding that last the back piece down so I can see it. Very cool. That is really neat. Carson Carter. This is for his nanny. It's a lot of wording on there. Mm -hmm. Keep them. It is very cute. I'm not sure how he did the images, whether that's carved or not. It kind of looks like it is, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether that's carved or just a stenciled on there. Um, Derek. Derek uh, Ewan. In Canada. In Canada, yeah. Wow. That's cool. That's really cool. Nicely done, Derek. Another very first sign. Oh, this is another one from Bo Trower. That was his very first one. I've seen some of his latest stuff. It tells you how long, how big a stack I have. I think this is several months old because he's now doing uh, stuff actually a lot better than that. But that was his very first one. Uh, George Keeley. That's cool. The pet, uh, the pet industry, guys, is a huge niche. Huge niche. In fact, I just talked to somebody this morning. They sent me one where they're doing uh, portraits, which I thought was kind of a neat deal. Jeff wow, that's neat. Cedar? Yeah, yeah, he made it uh, kind of a frame there. Made out of paddock. Very cool. I like that. Yeah. What's the size on it? Five and a half by nine and a half, made from two inch padding. David Herman in Ohio. Kind of a Celtic looking thing. Okay. Mixture of inset and outset letters. Very clean looking. Looks really nice. Not sure what kind of wood that is. Beautiful though. Carlisle Craven. His third sign. Mm -hmm. Wow. Very cool. Pretty cool for just your third sign. Great job, Carlisle. Man, that's nice. Now this one is just amazing. Eugene Tellers? Tell Tellers? Teller. Uh, is Teller? It Teller? It looks like a Z. It might be Tellers, yeah. Okay, so the clock, uh, for a, he made this for a school buddy. Um, the top one, the, that thing is a clock and it's out of one of those pine blanks and the swords are carved and shaped out of cedar. Wow. So they're added on to one of those rounds. Man, I don't know how many hours he has in that, but it's pretty amazing. It's gorgeous. Just beautiful. And he did kind of my, my dimple effect, if you can get in there close, uh, kind of my yeah. dimple effect on that, back in that background. Oh, I see. Beautiful job. Gorgeous job, Eugene. That's spectacular. Just spectacular. John Bonk again. I'm trying to go through these fairly quickly, but I want to spend enough time on them that that really that came out nice. Yeah, hold it up so yeah sorry. And Tim Reitzner. 
Now, the note that he told me, he posted this on Facebook, and when, within a day, he got uh, four orders. Yeah. Really nicely those done. Growth those parts. Yeah, those are really popular now. There's a lot of our guys that are doing those. Don Borden. Don was at our uh, sign carving. So that's all cleared away in the bathroom. Yeah. Cool. yeah, it's completely background, everything. Obviously for Valentine's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day? Oh, excuse me, Mother's Day. It's red. It could have been Valentine's, <laughs> Valentine's Day. It's close. It's all right, Don. He hasn't... Uh, yeah, wrong either. That I like. I like that a lot. Live Edge Slab. Check that out. Very What's cool. it say at the bottom? Uh, let's see. Newberry Iron, Park, California. Iron Bark Eucalyptus Run. Is it ether? Ether, e ether or Newberry ether? Newberry Park, California. Yeah. But eucalyptus is uh, like a, almost like carving steel. I've carved eu eucalyptus before. Man, that stuff is hard. Roy Smith in New York. Is that spectacular or what? It's called morning. That's, okay, so that's the picture, and then that's the carving. yeah, and that's wow. the carving of the picture. It's called morning watch. Very nice, man. That's gorgeous, just beautiful. Great job. Beautiful, beautiful work, Roy. Uh, Alan Moody over in uh, in the UK. I talked to Alan many times. I like the color. In and that. his uh, his signs have just. Um, grown in in skill just exponentially alan you're really doing some beautiful stuff my friend and getting better all the time hmm, this one's cool i'm not a buccaneers fan but i i gotta i gotta you know uh, acknowledge this sign R great job so this paul is gonzalez. huh paul, paul gonzalez. gonzalez yeah it's for his mother-in-law his wife called um his wife callie emailed me. Paul doesn't like to share his work, but Callie is very proud of him. I think that's his wife's name is Callie. And this is for his mother-in-law. Very cool. Beautiful sign. Great job. That's a great job on that logo. Steve Nasby. Steve and Mary back east. They were out here at our uh, sign carving seminar that's last year. Steve. Steve's come a long way. Yeah. Man, look at that. Isn't that incredible? That's nice. Very good. Beautiful job. Bet he got a pretty good price for that. Looks terrific. Thor Torgerson. From New London, Connecticut. Very nice. That's a big one. And he said he used our base plate, our profile bit, and our 60 degree bit on this one. Beautiful sign. Big one. Don't say the size on it, but it's a big one. And Larry Scudder. <laughs> I love those trees like that. Yeah. I think that's a really good niche as well. Great idea for Christmas gifts and uh, for a Christmas niche, actually. What's it? 20-inch uh, by 20-inch? I would say on oak. oak. Use yeah. profile and an SC50. Yeah. Beautiful nice. job. Man, that's nice. Great job, Larry. Beautiful. Another one from Steve Nasby. And this is his first live to ride sign. Use the Western letters in there. Mm -hmm. Great job. Very nice, Steve. I'm sure Mary helped you with that. Daryl Kilpatrick, his very first sign. What kind of wood is that? I don't know, but I think he went back and did some torch, some torch, if I remember right. This this effect can be done, a lot of guys are doing it by literally just taking like a ball peen hammer and kind of, you know, tacking it in there and torching it. I've seen that like effect that. several different times. They'll just take a ball peen hammer or the edge of a, of a regular hammer and just kind of ding it up and then torch it and it kind of comes out that way. Looks good. All right, you guys, we're going to lay all these out on the table, and we'll be right back and show them all in one shot. All right, here they all are, all on the bench. 
Just a spectacular group of sign carvers, you guys. Congratulations, everyone. Uh, very impressed with the work you guys are doing. Um, makes me want to grab that router and carve some more. I'm going to have to up my game to keep up with you guys. You guys are doing some amazing stuff. Just love all the creativity and the different styles and um, the artwork, different niches. Just love you guys' work. Great job. So that is about it for this week, guys. We will be not rolling very good yeah, on that floor. Yeah, I got caught on the, way, the um, leg of the table. So I hope everybody has a great weekend. Thanks again for all of your support. If you have questions on anything, be sure and email me or email Vic, and uh, we will get back to you right away. Um, again, if you need to get a message to me, uh, please don't leave it through Facebook. I don't. I just don't see the Facebook messages as much anymore. Um, I'm busy answering emails on my email, Eric at MakerWoodSign.com. So. Um, that's the best way to get a hold of me. I will almost always answer within a day. Uh, generally, if you get an answer from me, it'll be early in the morning. That's kind of my email time. So, again, thanks, thanks for everything, guys. And uh, we will see you guys, Coffee and Questions, on Monday morning. Have a great weekend. Bye.